The other day, I was listening to a radio program where they were talking about the way that trade between nations at one time depended upon the gold reserves which a nation held. And you could begin to see how that expression, as good as gold, came into being, because basically every transaction had to match that standard, that what was being given between nations was able to be matched against a gold standard. Now, having heard that expression, as good as gold, I want to say to you that in God's word, it talks about something being better than gold. And that's amazing because gold is a real worth, isn't it? And, and gold is incredible. It can withstand incredible heat. And even when the heat comes on the gold, the gold is refined. It's not destroyed. So, so it's an amazing, amazing metal that we can look at and think that is incredible. But listen to this verse that Peter wrote to the church in his first letter. Here it is in the first chapter and in verse 7. It says this. These have come, these trials have come, so that the proven genuineness of your faith, which is of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Now think about that. We don't know how long we're going to have to wait for that moment when Jesus is revealed. But when that happens, it's going to really be the moment when the quality of our faith is demonstrated. It's going to be better than gold. Isn't that amazing? And it's going to bring glory and honour and praise to God. So when we reach out in trust to the Lord and we find that our trusting relationship with the Lord is growing, there's a sense in which we're laying up a store of something that is so precious, even more precious than gold. It will be tested. It will be tried. But, you know, in the testing and the trying, it only proves to be more and more valuable. And in the end, when Jesus comes, our faith, which sometimes we think is so shaky and so small, once it's tested, it's going to shine forth and it's going to bring glory and praise to God. And why is that? Because he is the author of our faith. It's that which comes from him that we're going to bring to him and say, Lord, You've worked this faith in my heart. I've held on in the face of the challenges. And now the glory and the praise and the honour go to you. Isn't it great to know your faith is more precious even than gold? Something better than gold is here.